Good afternoon, communication specialists. I hope this video email finds you well. A lot of the work that we do at Cali & Son is blog writing. Blogs are the hottest marketing tool out there right now because they have the ability to attract search engines. Have you heard of SEO? It stands for Search Engine Optimization. And while there are a number of techniques under the umbrella term SEO, on any given website, content writing is the most important aspect of search engine optimization. Whether you write blogs for the company or you manage a blog site of your own, I'm going to share with you a tool that will allow you to attract an audience and grow a following. At the end of my introduction, there will be a four-minute video tutorial that is going to explain how applying keywords can intrigue readers and grab the attention of search engines. This video is my gift to you. Feel free to share it, share it with your fellow bloggers and friends. It will also be available on the Cali and Sun blog at communicatesun.com as well as on our Facebook page. Thank you for sharing your amazing gifts with me and with others. Happy blogging! To do this, let's go to the source, the search engine of all search engines, Google. How many of you are experts at doing Google searches? When you type in a key phrase, do you tend to get the content you are looking for on the first try? This is because when you type in a search request, you are using keywords, and keyword tags are what websites and blogs use to attract search engines. As a blogger, by deliberately placing popular keyword tags into your posts, you will attract an audience and gain a following. To help you know what keywords are best for your blogs, Google has a free program called Google Insights. This tool will tell you what keywords to use and in what capacity. At Cali and Sun, a rule of thumb is that each blog post should contain 8 to 12 popular keywords. These keywords should make up approximately 5 to 7 percent of the content in one post. This means that there should be between 5 and 7 keywords strategically placed for every 100 words. Finding popular keywords is easy with Google Insights. Anyone can access this tool, but to access all of the information it provides, create or sign in with your Gmail account. As you can see, Google Insights offers three modes of comparison. We are concentrating on popular keywords today, so we'll stick with search terms. Locations and time ranges are effective for finding what hot topics are trending now. Let's skip over to the filter section before returning to search terms. The filter key is important to find keywords that resonate with your target demographic. The most effective way to compile the keywords you want to use is to select a general location and watch their 12-month trending results. This keeps the search broad so you can be led to popular keywords that will fit your blog post. After you set the filter, return to the search terms box. This requires you to use a bit of trial and error, but because we are already masters of using Google search ourselves, thinking of keywords isn't that hard. Let's use one of Callie and Son's clients as an example for finding stellar keywords. Callie and Son produces hundreds of blog posts for a company in Canada that supports people with disabilities. Let's say I'm going to write an article about how in Toronto a person with a disability is more likely to be unemployed or underemployed than someone without a disability. I'm going to start by searching obvious keywords. Disability is a popular word. You can see this is evident with a simple look at the line graph. The numbers on the graph reflect how many searches have been done for a particular term relative to the total number of searches done on Google over time. Disability currently averages out at 81, which means the term is quite popular. As I scroll down, we can see the popularity of keyword by region. This makes me more knowledgeable about who is likely to search for articles about disability. Therefore, I can craft my article and write it to them as my audience. Then, down at the bottom of the screen, I am able to see complementary keywords. Therefore, should I recognize a term I want to touch on in my blog post, like disability tax credit, I can see how popular the keyword is with one click of a button.
Once you compile your list of 8 to 12 keywords, list them in order of popularity. Use the more popular keywords often and the less popular keywords for support. This has been Easy Keywording, brought to you by Cali & Sun Communications, a global service provider specializing in research, writing, and presentation materials.